to use, in this case Unithread and Red. Um, we tie it on a single. This is a Bartlett uh, partridge and it's a 2 -0. Now you can, normally these, these flies are tied, they are tied quite big. Uh, they're very good sea trout flies. They will take salmon as well. And really to show off the feathers used, the vulturine, you're best to use it in the bigger sizes. You can tie them small, but the most successful sizes are around about any uh, round about two inch or so. I say I'm gonna use the fire the uni in red. I'm gonna put down a layer of thread from the eye all the way down. Take your time. I'm gonna put down a nice layer of thread. Now you could use oval tinsel for the rib, but I'm going to be using flat silver tinsel, actual tinsel, uh, meaning it's tin and not a, like a miler or so. We're simply going to tie this onto the side. Now as you can see, I'm going to tie it if the length, if you look at these hooks, they've got a, an eye that's tapered and comes back into itself. The balance, I'm going to tie it that length, just to make up for the lumps and the bumps as we say. Now I'm just going to a couple of turns on to hold. Now I'm going to tie in the black floss, just a normal like a rayon type floss, and then touch and turns, take your thread back up. Now I like to make sure the materials stay on the side, now I like to bring them round. I don't want too many lumps and bumps. Now you want the body quite slim, you don't want it too heavy. Just take your time, all the way up. Now you want to stop round about some like three mil or so from the eye. A good head length anyway. Bring your floss up and slightly open it up. I just twist it so to open out the fibres. And just work your way up. Take your time. Slightly overlap in the last turn. You could use a stout floss, black, so it should be quicker. But this is just a, as I say, a normal rayon. To get to this point here, just come underneath, tie it down. Turn away the excess, slightly tidy up. Now, your tinsel, I like to do a turn onto the back, just really onto the near enough the bare hook. This stops any of the floss getting drawn back. And then reasonably close turns, take it up. I don't mind a lot of turns because it adds a bit of colour, shine to the fly. Like half silver type, half silver and black body works extremely well anyway. And that's you. Now come in with your scissors and be careful with this stuff. Just cut. Just cut your thread. And then what I do is just come in and roll a nail onto it bring it round, because that being tinsel, right, we'll cut your thread. Now you're looking for at least a good two, even three mil from the, the eye itself. Now we've got two vulture and feathers. These are, I think they basically come off around about the wing area, but I want them both about the same length. Now I've already got these ready. I mean, I'm going to take away the fluff at the bottom. Get them to sit the best way you can. You can have them slightly on the side, on each side, just by splitting the fibres. So splitting the feathers so they're down each side. Round about there. Nice and flat. Tie them on the top. Nice and tight. Before you do anything, just check to see how they're sitting. They should sit okay for you. Quite an easy feather to tie in. Then come in, trim away the excess. Want to make sure these are tied in. So you keep going, tidy up. Bring the thread back up. Ready for your hackle. This is a blue elbow. Now, for the hackle, I'm going to use, this is the, the Elva, sorry, the Vulturine, it's one of the, the blue feathers. I believe it's from the body. It's going to be for the hackle. Now you could use a dyed blue, 
but these are natural blues which you see a lovely colour. Now I'm going to wind the hackle on by the tip. As you see I've removed the fluff from the bottom and just reveal the tip by stroking back the fibres. You want as much as you can to build up the wing, uh, the hackle itself. Just pull it back. And once you're happy then, all I do, the good side facing myself, is catching the point, pull it back, and cut away the point. Keep a hold of it and trim it away. And then you've got to make sure you fold these fibres back. Just draw them back. And you want one turn in front of the other. It's a beautiful fly this. Uh, it catches it's not just well, it's one of them when it catches your eyes, but it catches a lot of fish. It's very good in the lochs of Scotland for sea trout and obviously the rivers here in the UK. Quite expensive fly to die. But certainly worth it. Now once you get to this point here, now I'm going to bring the thread up beside the hackle put a 90 degree bend into it. As you come over, make sure you tie it down. You could fold this hackle back, but the stem's actually quite quick, but quite thick. I might do it and see how thick it gets. It's not too bad. You pull it back. If you can tuck the hackle back, it'll always make it ten times stronger than just tying it down. Oh, I'd hardly ever pull out then. Trim away the excess. You want two jungle cork eyes. I've got two ready here. Now all I do, line them up. Now you want a good length. I like a reasonable length. Just like the short of the back of the body. Just line them up. I put them both on at the same time. Pull back the fibres or the area where you're going to be tying in. And pull back the fibres that you don't need. Just lie it on the top, on each side. Basically what I'm doing is folding them round. Tighten up, take your thread down, and much like I did with the, the vulture blue hackle, I'm going to fold them back. Now just before I do anything else, I'm double checking to see where the jungle cock's in. If you're happy with that, I'll fold these back. Fold them back, tie them down. Tidy up. Just take your time. Now you could, the head is red, obviously, with the red thread, but you can make it much brighter and I'll show you how I do it without adding, like, varnish, red nail varnish, or red varnish, or whatever. I'm going to just replace or cover the thread with a glow bright number four. It's got a bit of fluff there, which I don't want. Just trim it away. Take away the thread, come in, trim away the waste ends of your jungle coat. See how it's sitting, that's looking good. Now, I've put the Glow Bright number 4 on a bobbin holder. All I do is really tie it on top, just take it up, brightens the head. No idea how bright it is, and it is fluorescent as well. Come in and wet finish, just on and off. Trim away your bobbin and your waste piece at the same time, just trim them away. Then two or three coats of varnish, and that's the job done. And that there is your blue elver. An excellent sea trout fly. I say it can be a bit expensive to actually tie makes up for it when it catches the fish. And there you are.